Yeah, your sensitivity, I was looking at yours this morning. Mm -hmm. Pat, it changes. You were a one when I first asked you, Swish. Then you were a seven last time. You're a six today. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot when it's a muscular joint problem. People will have different sensitivities. Yeah. Sometimes it, it doesn't bother me. Yeah. It comes and goes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's right. The fact that you don't have any waveforms to the right of this dotted line on both sides is a positive thing. Because if you had this kind of squiggly waveform over here mm -hmm. or here, that would suggest bone on bone which is bad. We don't want bone on bone. The surface area is about 160 square millimeters, and that's what you are on a normal joint. That's awesome. Like the head of the joint, that's the top of your jawbone there, the condor head they call that. Mm -hmm. Root tips look healthy on your upper left. Sometimes we'll find like an abscess tooth or something weird that's causing their weird pains. You don't have any of that. See here, you can really see what's going on. There's your ear canal, all right? Mm. Here's your spine. There's your skull up here. Cheekbone, the zygoma. There's the space between skull bone and jaw bone. And in between, see there's a little space there, right? Mm -hmm. That's where your cartilage is going to be laying. So your left side looks pretty good looks totally normal, a little bit thicker than the other side. So your left side's got a little bit of an issue in the joint, but your right side looks like primo. Yeah, totally normal. Your tips look really healthy on your right. No weird abscesses hanging out that we don't know about. Sometimes normal x-rays don't always pick that up. Mm -hmm. but now we've got a much better view. Yeah, you're very predictable. You understand now why I do this? Uh-huh. See, look, this is beautiful. This is like a textbook right here. It's because if there's a problem there, what you can yeah. do, that would need to be corrected before. Maybe. I mean, like you've got a hair's damage on your left side, but a lot of people do. But it's stable and it's adapted. Okay, so in other words, it was torn a little bit, and then it healed. Someone like the guy that you saw that was in distress on the old videos, mm -hmm. his were both very, very damaged, and they're not stable, and they're not adapted and his bite is very unstable. Mm -hmm. So why would I correct his bite if things are shimmying around left and right? And there's no, it's like a bad knee. Yeah. You know, I can't walk right because my knee's bad. Well, it doesn't matter if I make you something for your shoe or a different kind of shoe. Mm -hmm. If this is not stable, why would I mess with that? Mm -hmm. But as long as, the, even if this is damaged, if it's stable, if it healed, you know, then I'm okay to alter. Mm -hmm. And maybe I can help you with your back pain because I put an orthotic in your shoe if I'm a chiropractor. Right? But, but the things we're doing, see that's removable, that's like artificial. Things that we're doing, teeth, this is the only joint in the human body with a heart tissue stop right here, right? So if I alter the, the teeth, it's going to affect these guys. Mm -hmm. As long as they're stable, they can take it and then I can get, here's the key, I can get the muscle to behave because I can control the muscle through the bite. What causes, uh, sometimes, you know, they'll pop or they'll the just, pop? they'll catch. That's one of the muscles. Okay. The catching is either from a muscle that's really taut because the muscle pulls mm -hmm. on that. There's skull bone, there's jaw bone, and there's like the cartilage in between. Mm -hmm. Like we're looking at the image there. And there's a muscle. So when I, when I open my mouth just a little bit, this thing just rolls and there's cartilage like a pillow here. Mm -hmm. It just rolls. When I open a lot, it rolls forwards down the skull. And there's a muscle that keeps that cartilage in line up above this to make sure bone doesn't rub bone. So sometimes when, when the bike gets thrown out of whack, the muscle that's pulling that cartilage is always contracting. Mm -hmm. It's trying to brace for some reason because the bite's not right. Yeah. And that's why people, they'll get this big old pop. Yeah. It's the beginning of a tear in the, in the disc, the pillow. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of loose and un, it's not necessarily unstable, but actually by definition that is, it's popping and clicking that hard. Yeah, yeah because so. sometimes you'll just, you know, as I said the other day, I'll bite my tongue. Yeah. It's like you didn't control. You don't control it. Yeah. Well. It it does its own thing. Well, yeah. It's because brain central nervous system is trying to. It knows that if back teeth are together too much, too long, the muscles are getting really spastic. So it, what does it do? It, it sends three muscles that are the tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep the back teeth apart. 
when you keep the back teeth apart, it has to do with neurology and how teeth and brain and muscles all work together. You can't clamp, clamp as hard. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want to. That's, that's nature, you, sticking in your own splint. But it's temporary. It doesn't fix anything. So the advantage of DTR we can fix because through the bite, in a stable and adapted set of joints, we can control the muscle. And that's really, I mean, almost nobody believes this, but how many, there were what, 50 different people on there, right? Mm -hmm. On the videos? Yeah, it works. <laughs> if you know what you're doing. <laughs> Tell me why you're here. I would like to uh, get some relief from headaches mm -hmm. and from, uh, and especially from my, um, at night time, clenching my teeth. Clenching a bunch? Mm -hmm. Is that a new thing or has it been going on for no, years? No, it's been going on for years. Yeah, have you ever talked to a dentist about that? Mm hmm What'd they do for you? Mouth guard. Did it help? Yeah. Well, it, it helps, I, you know, when but you're I, I still, it. yeah. Yeah, but you still find yourself doing mm -hmm. it a lot. I do, and I even chew on that, um. I find, because I, I noticed I have even kind of chewed through so I'm still grind I'm still doing that. Yeah, is it um, a hard material that they made it out of for you? No, it's soft. soft. A soft material. Okay. Um, when you get the headaches, where do they happen exactly? Up in here and uh, down my neck, down back neck? here. Neck. Is your neck Sometimes. tense? Oh yeah. A I lot? do this all the time. Uh huh. Especially back here. Do you ever seen a physician for that or a chiropractor? Um, chiropractor. What do they do for it? For it? Pop my neck. Does Adjust. It, help? it does. Is it lasting or not really? Mm, not, it'll last a, a while, but not too long. Not too long. And okay. I haven't been to one in a few months. So. Okay. Um, teeth hypersensitivity. Do you have problems with cold? Can yes. You swish? Occasionally. Drink? Mm -hmm. You do. So it comes and goes with you. It comes and goes. Okay. Um, so if I hand you an ice cream, one week you can eat it no problem, the next week it's, it's a right. painful event, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you ever wear braces? No. Never did. Um, when did the problem start with the clenching and the headaches? Do you remember? No, I don't remember. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Okay, bite home really hard. Now off to the side. And open. Excellent. Home hard. Oh, and open. Okay. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Christmas. <laughs> this is like, I, I say that and it will probably be here for five hours. <laughs> it looks easy. And relax. When I palpate up here, does that feel t uh, tired at all? Kind of sore? Mm -hmm. It does. A little bit. Closing up. How about when I go to this side? Just a finger, or does it feel sore and bruised? It's not as sore as the other side. So your right side is profoundly different than your left. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Okay. Yeah, it's interesting. Sharp is a It was trying to go right, and it went left again. It kind of did a loop to loop. It's like instead of just walking straight, this person went around and then went this way. Mm -hmm. It's extra work. So the muscles have to fire longer and more, right? The muscles get tired. The brain doesn't like it. Brain's always trying to shimmy it down and get rid of all that. Clenching and grinding. Unless you're what's called a habitual clencher. In other words, some people, they just have this little central nervous twitch. It's kind of like someone whose eye always blinks. Mm -hmm. You know, or maybe their heart skips, skips a beat, but it's not really pathology. It's just the way they're wired. You know, that's a... Uh, but if it's due to this kind of a problem, which often it is, this will knock it out. Clenching and grinding, it's really hard to promise, but it should improve. It should make it less of a, you should have less of a propensity to do so. All right, here it is. All right, bite home hard. To the right, and open. How, how so? Describe that subjectively. Smoother. Yeah. Easier? Just easier. It's not as tight. Yeah. Does your face feel any different yet? Mm hmm It feels a little more relaxed. Yeah. I hate that word, don't you? No. <laughs> Sound like the videos, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> How funny is that? 
<laughs> All right, we'll some composite. Let's get that. I'm gonna have to bond one, but that's not bad. Usually, people it's two or more. Small section. in here to image that number of six. Check. All right, bite on hard. To the right, and open. Okay. Yeah, I used to it. <laughs> Sore? Not much. It's all gone now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This the hair? This is the hair. Yeah. So. Did you say 30, 50, 80 percent better? The water's not bothering Yeah, 80 percent. About 80? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Relax. What's he like? Still no biggie or mm -hmm. no biggie? So comparatively, are they close to the same Very now? Very close. Very right. close. Mm -hmm. Good. If you're still clenching and grinding, it should be much less. Um, if you find that you feel the need for a splint, it will make you one to this kind of a bite mm -hmm. where it's at. I honestly, probably 70 to 80% of the time, people don't need splints after we do this. Not 100, I wish it was 100, it's not. Mm -hmm. um, but almost always, people are across the board clenching and grinding less than they did because we've eliminated the need for the brain to kind of even things out. We've done it for it. Mm -hmm. Like in what, this like 35 minutes? Yeah. Really quick. Another formal one from our next one. Set up for number six, right? take this image in the computer just in case God forbid you break this bonding off. A case like yours it probably won't make that big a difference. You needed a little bit of help. It'll still be better than it was but this way we can make it back exactly like it was again and make it out of porcelain which is much harder to break. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do me a favor. Swish the ice water. Good five seconds. Is it any different? A lot different. What was it like earlier when you did this an hour ago? It, I, I felt, felt oh. the pain. Everywhere? Just in a few places? No, everywhere, pretty much. Front and back? Mm -hmm. What about now? No. It takes you 0.29 seconds to separate your back teeth on the left. That is awesome. It needs to be below 0.5. Takes you uh, 0.22 seconds on the right side. Here you're done. So, in your own words, glad you had it done or no? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. What's it feel like? I know you were telling me a minute ago it felt a little weird. It did. That's kind of... Comes and goes? Yeah, it's like an adjusting. Yeah. Do you feel flush? I mean, what do you... A, a little bit flushed, and um, it's, it's hard to describe. Mm -hmm. Pleasant? No, mu in a weird much way? more relaxed. Yeah. It feels relaxed in here. Probably the neck, too, yes? Uh huh. Can you move it? Your shoulders and everything? Yeah, they're still tight. But. A little bit different or the same? Is there no, a... different. Good. Now go get an adjustment from the chiropractor and it might actually last. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're in spasm right now. They don't that's know what, what to I, do. They're that's quivering. That's kind of what I think. Yeah, I can it's see happening. it. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not worried about it. It's going to take a little bit of time for mm -hmm. it to get used to it. It doesn't know what to do with it. It's been like... Uh -huh. I know. It's been tense for yeah. so long. Yeah. And it's... That's the way Different. it feels. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you, it's documented. You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these guys... 4.9 microvolts, it should be below 2. He's certainly above 2. He's about right. He's double what he should be. You know, so right now they're just like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
But that's, ca- that's exactly the way when I... If I put this on you next week, mm-hmm. it'll be back to baseline. Below, actually. It'll mm-hmm. probably be super efficient. It's like if you put a chip in your car, you got 40 miles a gallon instead of 20. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> See you next week, okay? okay?